As a loyal viewer of this channel, you've probably already developed a chatbot using Langchain. Whether it's agent-based, rag-based or just an LLM with a prompt. Maybe these bots are already available somewhere on various URLs. Wouldn't it be cool if you could use them all together in one single platform? Well, that's what we're going to build, a unified bot platform. What exactly are we building? We want a central platform with a single user interface where we can interact with different bots. This platform will store the conversation history, meaning that you can even chat with multiple bots in a single conversation. Picture this, you've got a front end where you can select the bot you want to talk to. But what makes a platform truly a platform? It's something that multiple users can access. Users can register and admins can assign them roles. This is called role-based authentication. Each role contains one or more bots, so you don't have to assign bots individually to each user. To achieve this, we will build a typical CRUD application. So create, read, update and delete. We want to be able to create users, so we'll need a registration endpoint, which requires just a username and password. We also want to create bots, view all bots, view specific bots, update a bot, and of course delete a bot. We will also create groups or roles and we want to assign users and bots to these roles. For this we need get, post, put and delete requests along with the appropriate endpoints. Naturally we also need to persist this data. A SQL database is perfect for this. We'll define a schema with three tables, users, groups and bots. These will be linked through two join tables. For each request, the appropriate database operation will be executed. But first, what actually makes a bot a bot? In our case, a bot needs a name, a description, an optional image, and most importantly, the URL for the chat endpoint. For this, we need to define a contract. Our platform has to define how third-party bots should implement an interface. In our case, we will use the standard interface that OpenAI also expects. A list of objects with role and content. This is what we send to the chat endpoint. We also have to define how the response looks. Again, it's an object with role and content. This standardization is important because otherwise we'll end up dealing with many different object formats. Okay, so now we've got standardized bots on different URLs. But how do we know which bot to talk to? We will use a proxy pattern for this, where the front end sends a request to our platform and the platform will forward that to the actual bot. Every bot has a unique ID and we will use that in a single endpoint. We'll create a post endpoint with a path parameter, which is the bot's ID. In the request body, we pass all of the messages. Then we query the database, retrieve the URL for that bot with that specific ID and forward the messages to that URL. The bot generates a response and we return that response from our proxy. With this standardized information, we can now display the messages. This can easily be done with any frontend library, but I chose to use React. React uses components to encapsulate UI and logic. We will create three components. One for the login, since users should only see bots they are allowed to. One component for displaying the bots available to that user. And one component to display the conversation messages. Pretty simple at this stage. So here is how the workflow now comes together. We log in, we see the bots we are allowed to see. We pick a bot with a specific ID. Send the messages via a button click where we pass the bots ID to the backend. We use that ID to retrieve the correct URL from the database, pass all messages to that URL, get the bot's response and then add it to the conversation, displaying it in the UI. And that's basically it. With that approach you can easily combine multiple chatbots. And you could even take one bot's response and send it to another bot. Pretty awesome or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.